Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the second. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I do know that I have three more Julys that I need to do. I have not forgotten. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can get a couple of those done tomorrow. That's the plan anyway. Uh, we'll see what comes up. Um, yeah, I just got out of the pool so my hair is just pushed back nice and quick and easy in the whole nine yards. So anyhow, what do we have for a message for around the second? What do we have for a message for around the second? King of Wands. Action. Act somebody that is given to take action. Confident. We have somebody here that is very confident, strong, action oriented. So somebody's about to do something very passionate. This is a whatever they're doing it doing, they're very passionate about it. Emperor! I could be dealing with an Aries. Emperor and the King of Wands. Doesn't have to be an Aries, but this is taking charge. Somebody's about to take charge. This is order, um, structure, stability. Somebody, We got somebody here that is definitely about to do something. They are ready to fight. They are ready to battle. This is somebody that is fearless that is in a position they're not they're in a strong position a position of authority that is taking charge so so it could be you taking charge you know taking charge of a situation this is like taking control taking action death reversed this this holding on is getting old this is uh something is not over yet it's not over yet it hasn't ended yet it's not over yet death is reversed so something isn't over yet this could also be a near-death experience something that could be close to being over if this person doesn't take action somebody's about to take some sort of action before something ends because something is about to end with a death card it did come out reverse i'm just showing it to you upright it is the death card so this is a near death it's like it's something is almost over if this person doesn't take action an action needs to be taken action needs to be taken or something is going to end this is about regaining control so somebody has to regain control and they they're about to do something. Um, this person is a leader. They're the boss. I'm the boss. I'm, I'm the one that's in charge here. Three of wands reversed. That is unprepared. Lack of foresight. Missing an opportunity. Somebody is moving on. Six of Swords, that is moving on. Somebody is leaving something behind. Some, I think we have an individual that is about to take some sort of action. They have this strong knowledge by the looks. Very wise individual. The Emperor is typically very, very wise has a lot of life experience behind their back. This is somebody that is the boss. Moving. Somebody is moving. They're moving in a new direction. They're moving in a new direction. And that's why this is happening. They're slipping away. Somebody is slipping away with the three of, wa three of wands. Watching it leave.
the tower the tower the tower is a massive disruption right it's a shock it's a surprise this is a shock of some sort unprepared with the three of somebody is unprepared for some sort of surprise there is some sort of communication truth honesty that is coming that is the sort of truth that is the sort of power somebody is definitely taking control they are going to take control they're in a position of authority they're taking their, this is like the power this is the truth this is communication truthful communication this is a wake up call this is a this is the sort of truth so there is some sort of truth that is coming out or some sort of information taking a new approach this is a new approach. Somebody is going to be taking a new approach. They are in some sort of... Somebody is in for a big surprise as well with that tower card. This is a big surprise. Unprepared, okay, with the three of wands. Okay, the three of wands is right before the tower. That is unprepared. That is lack of foresight, missing an opportunity because of some sort of... Well, we know the tower is. It's a false foundation. It's a false sense of security. It's a necessary evil. Somebody needs, they're being forced. It's like they're being forced to take action. There's some sort of universal force here, but it's meant to be because the tower comes in and it's meant to be. So something is happening that is meant to be. Um, Taking control, taking control of a situation. Somebody's about to take charge. They are. They see something that it's like they see something that they don't want to end or something like that. So they have to take action. What is that death card reverse? It's like it's a near. It's close to being over. Something is close to being over. They unprepared for this disruption so somebody is unprepared for a disruption could be an internal disruption could be a shock could be a surprise could be a feeling of some sort strength reversed on the bottom now that is uh doubt self-doubt lack of self-esteem fear cowardly behavior weak Six of Wands, that is, uh, this is a hero. This is somebody that is battle ready, that has a lot of life experience that is heading in a new direction, definitely. This is a winner. This is somebody who wins, who doesn't give up. I'm not giving up. This is my battle. I win. There's some sort of public recognition that is coming as well. There is progress that is about to be made. We have somebody here that um, is recognized. This person is recognized for their valor. They're recognized for the nobility. They're recognized for their ability to succeed. There's, there's some sort of judgment that is being made as well with the emperor because the emperor makes a judgment call. unprepared shake up unprepared for some sort of disturbance get prepared you're not prepared for it there could be a disaster here something is like this is a, this is a disaster with the death card and the tower card there's some sort of disaster The Empress in reverse on the bottom. The Empress in reverse. That's a termination. It is somebody that is... Uh, not giving love. I mean, the Empress in reverse is not very loving. We have somebody here that is not very loving. They're not very caring. They're not very giving. They don't take care of themselves. They don't take care of their children. 
you know, they're not a very good mother. This person may not like the children, may not like their, their, their partner's children, you know, doesn't want to have anything to do with the children. <clears throat> oh, the Empress reversed is not a very good mother. She's not a very good, she's self-absorbed. She's needy. She's clingy. She's, uh, not in a good space. This is a mess. It is a mess. She's a mess. There is somebody here that's a mess. This could be like an empress wannabe. The empress in reverse is somebody that, I don't know if there's somebody here that has some sort of affairs or just doesn't get along with the children. There's something to do with, or doesn't take care of her children. There's some sort of termination here. There is. There's action that is about to be taken. Holding on is getting old. Something is happening that is forcing somebody to take action. It's like they're being forced. This could be a judge that is making a, a judgment call, judgment, a ruling of some sort. Because the emperor is, certainly can be a judge. Making it, making some sort of call. There's going to be some some sort of forced change. Put it that way. Somebody didn't see something because the three of wands is in reverse. They didn't see it. That's lack of foresight. And now something is, is gone or it's slipping away or they've gained some sort of insight with that ace of swords. They've seen some, this is awakening. This is a wake up call. They've seen some sort of truth or they've gotten some sort of wake up call or something has happened that is causing them to take action maybe they receive some information or they saw something you know that causes them to take action five of pentacles reversed that is a turning point this is a turning point somebody was ghosted they were left out in the cold they were abandoned neglected uh, but this is a turning point it is some sort of turning point. The lovers. The lovers. So this is an unexpected choice in love. Somebody's choosing. They're making a choice based on what their heart wants. There's some sort of deep connection here. There's a strong attraction. A very strong attraction. This is probably two people that have a lot in common that are very much drawn to each other that are coming together. This is an angel that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. Where these two people can just be themselves. They don't have to pretend to be somebody that they're not. Hierophant on the bottom. Could be dealing with a Gemini with the Lover's card. Could be dealing with a Taurus with the Hierophant card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries a couple times. And we have Scorpio a couple times. And we have Taurus. And we have Gemini. It doesn't matter because it really doesn't matter. But this is a commitment. This is some sort of commitment. It is um, following the gut. We have somebody here that has a direct connection to God. This is a higher power that is good. This is guidance, right? This is a healer, okay? The, the Hierophant is uh, a healer. This is a channeler, you know, somebody that connects highly with God or a higher power. Faith and trust, you know, moving forward, listening to the gut. There's a higher power. This is a... This is the highest authority of all, okay, the Hierophant. Um, and, and so anyway, this is guidance. There's some sort of guidance. Higher power is guiding somebody towards a connection that is very well suited for them. But this, I feel like we have somebody here that is really near close to losing the opportunity with the death card reverse. It's just about over. This opportunity just about gone. 
because the three of the three of wands that's a ship sailing away so somebody is is just about to lose their opportunity uh for this connection so it's interesting there's going to be a major, we have a big, huge surprise here. This is a shock. Falling in love. Somebody could be falling in love with the lover's card. There's something about commitment here and faith. There's God involved. There's a higher power involved. Two of coins. Two of coins is juggling, trying to decide what is the best option. We have somebody here that is has been able to uh, handle a lot but i feel like they've reached a point where they need to make a choice the two the lovers right next to the two of pentacles is about choice it's about choice you can't have both there's a there's a there's a perfect match here with the lovers card this is this is kindred spirits this is an opportunity to make a change twos are about changes the tower is about a change this is a universal change the higher power is involved god is involved there's a need to listen to your gut somebody needs to listen to their gut they've been guided to do so Three of Pentacles reversed on the bottom. That's lack of togetherness, lack of communication, lack of teamwork we have, because of a third party. There's been a third party. There's been somebody else that has been controlling with that Empress reverse. It's a controlling individual. That is somebody that, I don't even want to talk about it, but I have to. That is somebody that is self-absorbed and mean-spirited and doesn't love unconditionally. Okay, the Empress in reverse is a lack of love, a lack of abundance, a lack of growth. This is painful. This is a lack of delivery. It's, it's a lack of, of fertility. It's no growth. We got somebody here that is in a situation where they're not being taken care of. And we have an individual that is about to take action. And it's because they have another option here with the lover's card. That's an unexpected choice in love that is absolutely going to shock somebody. It's time to make a choice. It's time to make a change. It's time for a change. A need to be flexible. A need to adapt to change. We have the profit and loss again. You know, you lose something to gain something. Um... Seven of Swords reverse. It could be something, somebody that is coming back. They may have, you know, walked away. They're coming back. They're coming back. I wonder if somebody is, is also uh, coming clean. They're coming clean about something. The tower is massive change. There's some sort of power that is realigning. It's a higher power that is, that is realigning somebody towards their, I mean, the lovers is, is a soulmate, okay? There be, it is, it's a soulmate connection of some sort, but there's been some sort of resistance. Maybe it's been fear, I don't know. Maybe fear of not being good enough, fear of change. But the emperor is always good enough. Just so you know. Anyhow, um, 
five of cups grieving over a loss so there's grieving there's sadness there's crying over the spilled milk there's crying over a loss moping over a loss regrets here when there is still or there is another opportunity for love that is being missed so there's an opportunity for love that is being missed now we got the knight of swords that is definitely, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go right now, I gotta do what I, this is like, this. I gotta take, I gotta take control. We do have somebody here that is about to take control of a situation. This is somebody that is battle ready. They do not have any fear. This is somebody that is fearless. You know, and I think they've been in a place of fear. They were with the death card reversed right underneath it. That's held back by fear, definitely. And the strength card. Somebody has been, they have been held back by fear. But it feels like something that they were scared of is, been, is slipping away with that three of wands reversed. That is a missed opportunity. Wasted time. Somebody has wasted time on a false sense of security, on falseness. Right next to that wasted time is the tower card. That is a false foundation. Okay, they've wasted time on falseness. When they have a love connection right there, because right next to that tower is a lover's garden. But they have to be flexible. They have to be able to adapt to change. I do see a turning point here. I feel like we have somebody that has been trying to escape They've been trying to escape the truth. They're trying to escape their feelings. They're trying, I don't know, maybe hide something. But I feel like we get this taking a new approach, getting this new idea. Maybe it's an awakening. I got to go do this. I must go. I got to go right now. I got to take action right now. It's time to go right now. So, yeah. Should we get one more? How about one more? King of Cups. King of Cups is somebody that follows their heart. This is somebody that has a big heart, that expresses their feelings, is given to act on their feelings, expresses feelings. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that is following their heart. Maybe that's the winner. There's obviously two options here. There is. Absolutely. There's your two options. That is definitely two options. So somebody is going to be... Well, we have an obstacle that is being removed. There's been some lies. There's been some restrictions. Somebody has been held back by fear and they've been holding on to a false sense of security and another choice is about to be made because they wasted too much time on that false sense of security and that false sense of security is not happening okay it, there's nothing real about it it's not stable it's all false it's all lies this is all lies Somebody has been cheating themselves of happiness by lying to themselves about a situation when there's an opportunity for love here with a perfect match and it's time to go. I see with that Hierophant card a commitment. Good luck. 